For years now people have speculated about what's beyond our planet. Many believe that we share our universe with other life forms, while others have said that as of right now we are alone, as no telescope or advanced civilizations have made contact. Believers though have said that photographs taken by NASA and other space agencies show interesting anomalies in our solar system, and although it's important to apply a level of skepticism towards these images, they do create an interesting discussion around the topic of whether we're alone in the universe. Something interesting was just captured by NASA officials, with them saying that a large object has made contact with the sun, causing a large explosion to happen. The images were captured by the Alaska C2 satellite, and when the images were released people were questioning what could have caused the large eruption, saying that it doesn't look like a normal solar flare. Lasco images help NASA and other space agencies to log solar and transit events. It's announcements like these that have led some amateur researchers to look closer at our sun, with some of them saying that every year strange objects can be seen in and around the sun. Some of these photographs match typical descriptions of mysterious flying crafts, and although NASA has quickly shut down these statements and said that they don't exist, and that what people are seeing is likely space debris, other scientists have been a little more open-minded, saying that advanced civilizations may even be travelling across the Milky Way, and harnessing power from things like the sun and even black holes. One recent article was published in January of this year, in which scientists said that aliens could be sucking out energy from black holes. Alien civilizations have long fascinated scientists as well as the general public, and now it's theorised that advanced civilizations could be travelling to black holes and harvesting their energy. The researchers even said that this could explain why they detect flares and disruptions close to these celestial entities. The study was published in the Physical Review. As of right now this is just a theory, but the scientists said that black holes can be found throughout the Milky Way galaxy, and that if we had a better way to observe them, then we might be able to detect advanced civilizations using them as a source of power. Astrophysicist Luca Cosimo was behind the study, and said that we need to figure out what extracting energy from a black hole looks like, and that once we figure out a way to do this, we could observe and detect distant advanced civilizations. He said the following, We've only done the physics in this paper, but I'm now working with a colleague of mine to apply this to reality, to look for civilizations, to try and see what kind of signal you would need to look for. End quote. Although mysterious flying crafts that are allegedly seen near the sun don't win over hardcore scientists, the theory of advanced civilizations travelling to the sun to use it for energy does hold up. In fact, our sun is so powerful that scientists have said that the amount of sun that hits the Earth's surface in just one hour is enough to handle the world's energy consumption for one year. This has caused some to say that we need to be using our sun more, and that our current methods are outdated. We can convert sunlight into electrical energy, and we currently have the technology to store this in things like storages and batteries. So although it may sound outlandish that advanced civilizations would travel to the sun to gather energy, the theory does make sense. Teams of MIT researchers have said that they are currently working on ways of capturing and storing the sun's heat, and this is for the sole purpose of it being able to generate electricity when needed. Energy MIT said the following on their website. The new system is simple, durable and inexpensive. Mirrors mounted on a hillside reflect sunlight directly into large tanks of molten salt, which absorbs the heat throughout its depth. The system can handle the intense power of the midday sun, as well as temperature changes throughout the day and night, without structural failure or interruptions in power production. Modelling studies and lab-scale experiments confirm the viability of the concept, and the availability of extensive hilly areas suitable for installations. End quote. 
As mentioned, although scientists and space agencies have said that we've never detected aliens or an advanced civilization, there's some who theorize that aliens are harvesting energy from the sun, and these come in the form of strange crafts that can be seen hovering around the sun for several hours before they fly off. Amateur researchers have said this is a good test to see what's going on around our sun, and have said that NASA should be investigating what these strange objects are. For decades now, these strange looking crafts have been detected by solar observatories around the sun, and due to NASA's replies it's only caused some to become more curious. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration has said that they've investigated these objects, and that every time they turn out to be things like space debris, solar flares or debris caught in the equipment, which ends up giving off the illusion that something is there when it isn't. Regardless, some still hold on to the idea that these objects are in fact advanced crafts that are travelling to our sun, and suggested that they're doing the exact same thing we are, and that's using our sun for its energy. NASA did say the following on their website, Astronomers have found countless planets orbiting other stars. Some may have conditions suitable for life as we know it, and on some of these worlds, life may have evolved to the point where it produces technological civilizations. Since planets around other stars are so far away, scientists cannot look for signs of life or civilizations by sending a spacecraft to these distant worlds. Instead, they must use powerful telescopes to see what's inside the atmospheres of exoplanets. A possible indication of life, or biosignatures, could be a combination of gases like oxygen and methane in the atmosphere. End quote. Time will tell whether we find anything of interest. So what do you make of these interesting theories? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.